This tutorial will start up where we left off after adding foundations. Now we want to add multiple structural plans, which we've only added a foundation plan so far. One thing we want to do is make sure we don't mix up our floor plans with our structural plans and ceiling plans. So we don't have a foundation ceiling plan, so I recommend right-clicking on that foundation ceiling plan and deleting it. We also don't need a foundation floor plan, so we should delete that as well. Now what we can do is we can add a foundation plan or a structural plan for our multiple levels. We do that by going to the View tab, and then near the View tab we have the Plan Views selection. We pull down the arrows and you notice that we can add plans for multiple different types of plans. Sometimes we might be missing floor plans, so we can click on floor plan and see any plans that are missing. Notice that we just removed the foundation plan from the project browser, but it's still here because it's part of the building information model. But we need to add structural plans, so we want to click on the pull down and click on structural plans, and this shows us the plans that we don't have structural plans for. So you want to select both level 1 and level 2 and hit OK. Now you notice that we have a level 2 floor plan or structural plan and a level 1 structural plan and the properties are slightly different for each. Those include things like the view range where in this instance we can actually see the foundation which we don't want to see. So if we go over here to our properties and we look at underlay. Underlay is showing us another level and that can help us align things like turning on furniture for a ceiling plan and things like that. We don't need an underlay right now but if we go to the extents area we can click on view range and click edit and this is showing us where the cut plane is so it is one foot above level one because we're on level one and then it views down to negative four feet which is why we can see that footing, because that footing is three feet below. So we could either lower our footing, which might not be accurate because it might not be very deep, again based on the foundation type and our frost level, or we can change the bottom of that range. So I'm going to change that to be three feet and see if that fixes the issue. You also notice that the view depth is six feet, so we might have to adjust that as well. And I hit apply and that didn't help, so I'm going to try adjusting it to be 5 feet, and that still isn't helping it. So this is something that you have to play with sometimes, and even if the view range won't work, another option you can do is just click on the footing, and then do a hide in view category, and it will hide all of the footings because we don't need to see those. Another thing is we can see the concrete column that we added to be that stem and so we don't want those either but we can't do category because then it would hide our steel columns as well so this is something that actually will disappear when we add a floor slab so we can go ahead and add a floor slab so if we go to architecture and we go to structure then we go to floor and we want a structural floor and what we want to do is we want to pick a slab on grade and we don't have one so what we can do is we can click something that already has concrete in it or we can take one of the generic ones and hit edit type duplicate and we can call it a six inch slab on grade and then of course we still have to edit it we know that it's structure and function but there's no material designated so we want to click on the materials and we want to look up concrete and see what options we have. So we know we want cast in place and we have the patterns that relate to it. And then we want to make sure that it's six inches since we called it a six inch slab on grade. And then we want our coarse scale fill pattern to be black so that when we cut through it in section it shows it as pochade solid. And now we can do our basic slab and remember it would be from inner corner to inner corner because our walls are structural load bearing walls and they're going to go past that slab on grade to sit on the foundation and because this is a structural slab you notice we have these arrows and that span direction so we can also hide that in view so now in my 3d view 
I have a slab and if I go from the bird's eye view I can't see my foundations anymore and if I go to my level one view I can't see those columns anymore that we were using for the footings. Now we need these plans in order to show the structural elements and again structural plans are going to be more like reflected ceiling plans in that they look up and they show the structure that is supporting a level. So the next tutorial is going to show you how to add beams and beam systems that are going to span between the load bearing walls and the columns.